Alright, so this video is going to be a black and white demonstration of how you can make your T-Mobile 5G home internet a lot faster. Now it actually works on AT&T and Verizon as well, but uh, for this one I'm going to show it on T-Mobile. So this white gateway here is my T-Mobile um, G4AR gateway. Uh, it is probably one of my more favorite gateways because it has the built-in uh, external antenna port so I can add a waveform 4x4 um, external antenna to it to improve the signal but this here is a Chester Tech Repair uh, main event and so they've changed their naming of their gateways uh, kind of recently uh, th this year uh, before Chester Cheetah was kind of the name of but they had several different variants of it so this one the main event is a smaller form factor it's about half the size as far as this main box goes versus um, their older one or the older box um, and it has a fan that kicks on here so this is actually a grill that has uh, air coming off of it but um, the main thing with this one is that it is an x75 modem so it's snapdragon x75 modem that's a better modem than what t-mobile offers in any of their gateways that they have and then the other thing with this being third party is that you can do things like band locking tower locking for that matter you can also um, change your mode from 5G SA to 5G NSA or even switch it to LTE. You know, I have a lot of viewers that uh, said with this recent change where T-Mobile uh, improved their 5G network and pushed more people to 5G SA, for some people that actually made their internet uh, worse, especially their upload internet worse because uh, it forced them onto like an N41 band. And I won't go into the, re the the details why, but there are reasons why that can be slower for some people sometimes. So you can try a antenna to improve it, or you can also go to a gateway, or you can do the best of both and go to a gateway with an external antenna um, to get uh, your best signal. So what we're going to show here is taking the SIM card out of this white one. We're going to put it into here. There's actually two slots um, that you can choose from here. And then this has very easy settings that you can adjust that is allows you to do things like IMEI revision on this unit so that it becomes um, something else and then you can also do things like changing the APN if you needed to or your TTL or other settings depending on what your plan was if you had some other mobile plan for example and the reason why I like to feature this um, Chester Tech Repairs product is really because the owner, uh, Alfredo, he is in New York and he assembles, he bench tests all of these and I can literally message him just like any customer can or potential customer for that matter uh, through his website and you're getting a one-on-one -on -one chat with him. It goes to his cell phone. Uh, he very well could be sitting on his couch uh, at home. Friday night, I messaged him at 1 a.m. and um, I've even done things where middle of the night um, ask him uh, to connect and he will connect through um, the internet remotely to this um, through my tablet and then he can go there and look at things and change settings so he offers fantastic support and he will help configure this stuff if you're like hey I don't know any of this I don't know how to do that he will pre-configure it for us if you just reach out to him and um, let him know what your your needs are so all that said let's test the speed and performance of that gateway Versus this gateway, I'm going to put them in the same place up on the third floor of my loft. And I put these here because it's where they get the best signal. My tower is actually that way. And I have a uh, 4x4 cable running through the wall here out into the attic space. And then I do have a waveform 4x4 panel antenna like their Quad Pro that I can hook up here. So right now we have the G4AR powered on. It is on the stock internal antennas. I'm connected to it on Wi-Fi. If I go into the T-Life app, I can see my um, my metrics here. Now, what's funny is that this changes on me all the time, so it's hard to always know what is it going to be on. On the internal antennas right now, it is showing us on 5G NSA. Before, it was on 5G SA. And um, so if we look here at what we got, we have um some good signal to noise on 5g looks like 21 and then on lte it's good and then if we look at our bands we're on band b66 for lte and then n41 there for the 5g so if we go in here to the 
um, speed test and we do a quick speed test here to see how this one does. All right, so there we go. So we had a really good download speed, but you can see the very low upload speed is 3.27 megabits per second for upload. So that's poor. And then we're getting some poor ping as well. The other thing, if you go in here and you look at the detail results on the bottom there, you can see the packet loss is 53%. So that's huge and that's a big problem. And that's probably driving that terrible upload speed. All right, so if I go here and change this to external antenna, and now again, I have my waveform um, quad pro set up in the attic. We can see if I don't think you can pull it down you gotta go back and try to refresh this here. All right, so now it shows external antenna down the bottom. It's still right now showing you the same um, bands, but sometimes it will change on you. I can see, okay, my signal to noise got better on my LTE now, but my RSRP is still on the, um, the blower side for you know, these things don't match up. 5G is good now, but it still shows poor here. All right, so let's go in here and retest the G4AR with the uh, external antenna. All right, there we go. So we saw a marked improvement in the download, but even a much bigger improvement in the upload. And this is consistent with what I've always seen with having a antenna. Our pings are still um, not the best, but you can see we got rid of the packet loss problem that we had uh, previously with the internal antenna only. All right, so now I'm logged into the main event here from Chester Tech Repairs. I um, connect the Wi-Fi to it, and then I go to its web address. All that's on the bottom sticker of the unit, including the password. But we can see here that I am connected to a couple um, N25s um, and then N41, to a couple N41s in there. So this is one of the big things with the um uh, x75 is that I can connect to more stuff here more bands um, aggregate so let's go in here and look at a little bit more details on the signal you know you can see that my primary is the n25 and so I can go ahead and run a speed test and see how it does now remember this is just the stock uh, paddle antennas there's no external antenna on the uh, the main event here All right, so what you can see here is that this one did improve the performance over the um, the stock G4AR, especially with the upload, where now you actually have some usable upload. But there's a big caveat here, and that's with this is set up. If I go in here to my network mode, I have it set in auto. If I go to my lot, my band locks, everything is default. So that's the beauty of this one is I can change it. So if I don't want it to be um, in this network mode, I can change it. So I can go here and force it to 5G SA or 5G NSA or LTE for that matter. Hit save. You don't have to reboot or reconnect. It automatically takes a second um, to switch, but it's going to now switch the connection uh, because before it was the 5G SA with the uh, double N25, double N41, which should be good. But now we are um, going to switch it out of that mode into uh, a 5G NSA mode. All right, so right now I can see it's now switched to 5G NSA. My primary band is band B2, and my uh, secondary uh, is band N71. So we can just go back in here and rerun a test and just see what it does with this one. Now, oftentimes it will connect and aggregate more signals after I run some tests. Let's just see what it does here, and then we will... Uh, test some more all right there we have it so that is a very strong demonstration of the benefit of being able to just change your modes and change your bands with a third-party um, router here so my download speeds 350 that's still excellent and I went from very unusable download or sorry upload speeds on the stock G4 AR to now almost 40 megabits per second upload so that is same location that's not even with an external antenna. And in fact, um, this one without the external antenna actually beat the upload uh, still significantly of this one with the external antenna. And that's really 
because I'm able to change and configure this settings for whatever I get best performance. A lot of people ask, hey, what band should I be on? The answer is whichever one works the best for you. And there's not always a clear cut answer. So I have played with this many times over the past five years that I've had this stuff on lots of different gateways. So I kind of know what works well in my location and what doesn't. If you don't, you can just experiment with it and, um, and, and find out what works the best for you. The other big thing here is the ping is now drastically lower for the loaded ping side. So if you look at the um, the speedtest.net result here where they, they give you a rating for um, basic, it's basically based off your ping, but it shows you gaming and a streaming video and video conference. Now I'm almost a perfect, um, you know, solid green um, all the way across, whereas before I had some issues there. So if I go back into the website and just check to see if there it goes. Yep. So it added it on in 41. So what I figured it normally does. Um, so that helps. Uh, it's going to aggregate as much as it can. And again, I can change and switch off different bands if I wanted to make a change. So let's just run it one more time and see if it made a difference as it added um, in 41. If it did it before the test or if it did it after our test last time. All right, well, you can't get more um, consistent than that. That is almost the exact same score as we had uh, last time. So let me hook the external antenna up to this and see what it does uh, adding that antenna. All right, so now I am connected um, the main event directly up to the external antenna, the same waveform cables as I have for the G4AR. And uh, logging into it, I can see an update on the information. Now, this is really the same information as I had before where this one's showing uh, B66, um, B2, and N41. And I copy and pasted that information. If you want to kind of decipher it a little bit more, you can just put it into your favorite AI bot, where I just copy and pasted what that was in there. And it's going to break it down and show you what each of those mean, which is kind of helpful for you. It's going to be better than probably me uh, just reading to this. But it'll show you that, um, you know, what you're connected to, what the signal is. And then you can ask it more information about it. So I asked it, okay, how much bandwidth is this one aggregating? And this was showing me that, and in fact, I think the, the bands actually changed a little bit. But what I had was uh, two N41s, and they're each 100 megahertz of bandwidth apiece. And then the uh, N, um, sorry, the B66 for the primary, and that was 20 megahertz. So that adds up to 220 megahertz of bandwidth that I had aggregated. Now you can do more of it um, as well um, if there's more channels available or if you um, you know mess around with the band locking. So let's go in here and do a speed test to just see how this one compares. So again, this is 5G NSA external antennas on the main event. And looks at, yeah, we broke past the 500 barrier already uh, with this one still in the 5G NSA. Um, let's see what kind of upload we get. Um, it really kind of varies based off your signal on what type of performance you'll get with each of these. And so that's where I always encourage you to play with different settings. If you're not sure which ones to mess with, you can um, watch my videos or you can message um, Chester Tech Repairs. They can help you out as well. So uh, very good speeds there. All right, so now let's go in here and change our network mode back to the 5G SA just so that we can um, see how it compares getting 5g standalone on the external antenna compared to what we had on the g4ar gateway all right so now i have it uh, switched over to 5g sa and you can look here and see that we have n71 n25 and two different connections of n41 and so we can go over here and test that speed now to um, see what it gets with external antennas sa the first thing i see right there is the ping that unloaded ping is, um, you know, 21, so that's the best ping that we think we've gotten. So that's the combination of uh, 5G standalone, which is typically better. And then you can see our speeds are also up, at least for download so far. Let's see what kind of upload um, we get with this essay. All right, so there we go, almost 600 down and 50 up. And then again, you can still see that I still get excellent uh, ping. That's even me just not really messing with this that much. If I go in here and let's just see what happens because sometimes I found out like if I don't have N71 as the primary, but instead if I have like N41 as a primary, 
sometimes I'll get a different um, download or upload uh, performance because of the way they act. So I'm going to turn off N71. All right, so what you can see here is that it is now connected to N25 as a primary. Then it has another N25 as a secondary. Then it also has two N41s in there. So I'm going to leave N71 unchecked uh, so it doesn't connect to it. And I'm just going to see what kind of performance I get without it. And then I'm going to add it back in and see if it um, can add as a secondary and actually get uh, even better performance. So it looks like um, about the same uh, download, a little bit lower. And it looks like my upload does hurt. I have seen that a lot, that the N71 does help upload performance. So not a huge surprise there. Let me go in here and um, add it back as an option so that it can try to see if it can add it on as a secondary. All right, so I just did a speed test and certainly I got a better upload. Let's see if it actually added it or let's see what it did here. All right, so it looks like it put it back as a primary and then I have N25 and then two N41. So um, that seems to be the best connection, at least for right now, um, with my performance. So um, much improvement definitely over the stock gateway by itself um, without a antenna. All right, so it's always fun to do that testing. Now, if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll see that I get a range of speed depending on uh, what I'm connected to, um, you know, wintertime versus summertime. There's lots of changes. I have gotten over a gig per second down when I've really uh, fine-tuned my settings for what I needed. This time, I was only getting about five to 600 uh, tops for the download. But what you saw is the G4AR, especially when it was just the stock internal antenna, uh, what it was typically doing for me, and this is one of the downsides to those stock gateways, is it was switching to 5G SA, and it actually got worse performance than on 5G NSA, and that was just because of my signal. So I was getting something like 200 uh, megabits per second down, and like two to three megabits per second upload with it sitting there. Now for the testing, ironically, it did just switch to 5G NSA, and it actually got me the 400 download, but still only the three megabits per second upload which means I really can't do the video conferencing or other upload related needs that I need for my internet. So that means that, you know, the 5G home internet would not be usable for me um, until I started messing with it. So adding the external waveform antenna certainly helped, um, but it still did not allow me to change my bands or my connections to really get the best out of what I have from a signal standpoint at my house. I just have to be able to utilize it. That's where getting a third party gateway like this main event really allowed me to crank it up. So I went from, you know, I guess I would have to say two to 400 down and about two to three megabits per second upload from that to five to 600 megabits per second down and 40 to 50 or even higher um, megabits per second upload. So a massive change in the performance. Um, yes, you have to spend some money. Yes, you have to buy these things. And yes, you do have to tinker with them. And you saw in this video, I'm messing with the settings and figuring out what works best. But once you do that, now I have blazing fast internet. It's 50 bucks a month for me. Um, and so that's why I really advocate for this. And I demonstrate this to try to help you guys find that best speed because you might have the signal at your house. You just have to figure out how to tap into it. So Always give me that thumbs up button if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then of course if you are interested in a product, either the Chester Tech Repair stuff or the antennas from Waveform, I do have good coupon codes down below, like $45 off on the Chester Tech Repair stuff and 5% uh, off everything off of Waveform, so uh, check it out, and uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, I do try to answer those and uh, reply to them, so thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.